Hello and welcome to another episode of Trust Check with me, Hajara Hosseini. On Trust Check, we bring you weekly reports on viral claims made on and off social media that garnered a lot of reactions. Before we get into that, let's take a quick break. Welcome back to Trust Check. Following the announcement of the Apex Bank's decision to redesign the Naira, many stories have come to light and they keep circulating on and off social media. However, most of the stories, videos and pictures which surfaced are misleading as they were later found to be old or false. In order to avoid becoming a fake news merchant, always take a moment to verify any information that seems too good to be true. This week, we take on claims made mostly via social media by individuals and blogs taking advantage of trending issues. The first is a video of 1,000 Naira notes piled on the floor and in sacks that have been shared multiple times by blogs and individuals on social media, including WhatsApp, suggesting it is money stored in someone's house. The caption did not say where, when, or to whom the money belonged. Interestingly, since the Central Bank of Nigeria announced that it will introduce redesigned Naira notes, Many videos have surfaced, either suggesting that stacks and stacks of Naira were found decaying or in abandoned sites, or that politicians who hid money for years are finally taking them out for deposits in banks. Let's take a look at some of the trending videos. Allah <laughs> Investigations by Trust Check revealed that some of the videos are not recent shoots, while some were recorded to mislead people. This clearly shows how trending issues attract peddlers of fake news. Also, a frame-by-frame -frame analysis of some of the videos using the Invid verification tool shows that the videos and others like it have been shared before on social media. Looking closely at the first video, it is obvious that it was taken inside of the bank's bulk room, and such a large amount of money is expected to be found in a place like that. However, some comments under one of the posts suggest that it's either United Bank for Africa, UBA, or Zenith Bank, considering the paint on the wall, which is white and red. Let's take a quick break and when we come back, we'll give you our verdict. Welcome back to Trust Check. Trust Check can confirm that the video of a stack of money and others like it making the rounds on social media and suggesting that it is someone's stashed money in the house is false. The second claim is a social media post stating that the United States government has set a deadline for the legal status of dollar notes printed before January 2021. According to the post, dollar bills printed before January 2021 will no longer be accepted as legal tender worldwide by January 2023. It added that the policy was implemented to curb billions of illegal dollar bills in African countries. Also, the post noted that the agreement was reached at a meeting held on November 2, 2022 between the United States Federal Reserve Bank, Office of the Comptroller of Currency, IMF, World Bank, and Governors of Africa's Central Banks. 
The Post further claimed that US President Joe Biden wrote to the British government and European Union to also consider redesigning their currencies accordingly to frustrate those with illegal funds in the US dollar, British pound sterling, and euros. In a bid to validate the claim, TrustCheck did a keyword search on the Reuters official website, which the author of the post claimed was the source of the information, but there was no such information on their website. Further checks showed that there was no meeting between the officials of United States Federal Reserve Bank, Office of the Comptroller of Currency, IMF, World Bank, and Governors of Africa Central Banks on November 2, 2022, as claimed. A manual search on the official Twitter of the United States Federal Reserve revealed that they only had a press briefing by Jerome Powell, Chair of the Federal Reserve of the United States. Trust check can confirm that the claim suggesting that the United States plans to reject dollar bills printed before January 2021 is false. Now to our segment of Need to Know. You may or may not have heard of the National Card Scheme, but here's what you should know. According to Wikipedia, card schemes are payment networks linked to payment cards, such as debit or credit cards, of which a bank or any other eligible financial institution can become a member. By becoming a member of the scheme, the member then gets the possibility to issue cards to acquired merchants operating on the network of that card scheme. The Central Bank of Nigeria and Nigeria Interbank Settlement Systems PLC alongside the Bankers Committee are set to implement the use of a national card scheme to improve the payment system in Nigeria. Recently, the CBN in a statement said there will be a tremendous benefit in introducing the domestic card scheme, which will reduce cost and use of foreign exchange, protect data sovereignty, enable locally relevant propositions and make cards and payments more accessible and affordable for Nigerians. There is also potential to leverage the scheme as a platform for seamless dissemination of government to person payments and other social impact initiatives. It will ultimately enhance financial inclusion and support the growth of a robust digital economy. It is also expected to foster innovation within the Nigerian domestic market and African continent, allowing banks and other institutions to offer a variety of solutions, including debits, credits, virtual, loyalty, and tokenized cards, amongst others. How does the card scheme work? The card scheme uses its rules to transfer card transaction information from the acquiring bank to the issuing bank, that is, from the merchant to the consumer. It then passes the payment back to the acquirer to confirm the payment. Credit and debit card schemes work with four parties, Together, these four parties make up an open-loop system that allows consumers to seamlessly purchase items or services from merchants by letting the banks do all the work on their behalf. The card scheme also attracts a fee, such as fees paid to be a member of the scheme and interchange fees. According to Global Data, in 2021, the annual value of card transactions in the Nigerian cards and payments market was $18.2 billion. The market is expected to grow at a compound annual growth of more than 18% during the forecast period. Interestingly, cash remains the preferred method of consumer payments in Nigeria. This is mainly due to the country's highly unbanked population, limited public awareness of electronic payments, and limited access to banking infrastructure. Global data also noted that financial inclusion is a top priority of the Nigerian Central Bank. The CBN is undertaking various initiatives such as including financial education in school curriculum and organizing promotional campaigns to increase awareness on banking products. These initiatives have supported the payment card market, which has seen significant growth in terms of payment volume and value, indicating that preferences have started to shift. In Nigeria, debit cards are the most popular card type for payments, but measures are taken to increase the use of credit cards. In 2020, COVID-19 played a key role in boosting the use of electronic payments, although the pandemic impacted consumer spending, which in turn affected the payments industry. However, banks attempted to provide basic financial access to the unbanked population by expanding agent banking networks and infrastructure. At the end of 2021, the number of digital payments channels rose to 6.4 trillion naira compared to the 4.7 trillion naira recorded in 2020. Data on the Nigeria Interbank Settlement Systems website showed that the transaction volume on its instant payment platform rose to over 271 trillion naira compared to the 158 trillion naira that was recorded on the platform in 2020. 
This shows that there has been an enormous improvement in electronic transactions and introducing the national card payment scheme will encourage more use of such transactions and further promote a cashless Nigeria, which is one of the CBN's priorities. While we bring you weekly reports on false information circulating on and off social media, a simple way to stop the spread of fake news is to verify any information before sharing them. Always remember that fake news causes damage with irreversible effects. For more details on the fact check, visit www.trustcheck.dailytrust.com and follow us on all social media platforms at Trust TV News. Until I come your way next week, I am Hajara Husseini.